Bill came through the door yesterday from the tax office, would you believe? Saying that I owed 523 euros for tax d'habitation. But people who've got primary residence in France, you don't have to pay anymore. Unless you've updated the tax office by the 30th of June, 2023. But they don't tell you you've got to do that. And apparently the fine is 150 euro if you're not telling them for any of that roll intro. <laughs> Department 16, La Chironte, I forgot where it was then. The northernmost tip of the southwest of France. Cold today. Um, going to be joining the other half of uh, the Sons of Agony this morning. Uh, I think it's going to be heated jacket and heated gloves. Uh, but tonight, I'm going to be filming an episode of the podcast, French Air Trumpet. I think it's the, th the third time I've done it. So French Air Trumpet is Colin from French Countryside Life. You link in the description. Uh, Andy from AJ in France, link in the description. I've joined together to form a podcast style YouTube channel called French Air Trumpet. Welcome back to an, another episode of French Air Trumpets. I'm Andy from AJ in France, and today I'm joined by Colin uh, from French Countryside Life, as usual. But again, Back by popular demand, Robbie from Escape, Escape to France, Sharon. And um, we're going to just... That was his mum asking to see him again. That's what it was. <laughs> That's okay. it. Yeah. And they just talk about, mostly, 90% of the time, about living in France. But tonight's one is a little bit different. I want to say tonight, it'll go out on Saturday, Saturday, midday, French time. It's about, cons it's about conspiracy theories. Now, I don't talk about conspiracy theories on this channel. But, uh, and I don't like the expression conspiracy theory uh, because it tends to devalue what I would consider to be a, uh, a reasonable hypothesis. Um, but that's what it's all about. So we're going to be talking aliens, JFK, maybe hollow moon theory, flat earth theory and stuff like that. So let's go and take a look. Massive shout out to Bev Mitchell for her donation to the Movember calls. Uh, I used to work with Bev, and Lisa did too. She's a lovely lady from back in the UK. Cheers, Bev. Later. And a donation from Sue White. Cheers, Sue. Really appreciate it. And if uh, anyone else is consider considering donating, I'll stick a, uh, a link into the my Movember um, space on the, in the description. And the first comment, if I remember, because forgot yesterday but uh but thank you all so much so far it's not even the end of, of december december november it is early anyway whatever next is let's do that right apologies about the air we're at short song picking some timber from a new garage door that darren's doing it's not the only place we've been today um but i've not filmed it anyway let's go and select some wood yeah so we want this. Yep. Now. Sorry, it's getting over the fence. <laughs> so, a pretty uneventful day um, today. Well, in terms of filming, but no. So, been out on a bike ride with uh, with the Sons of Agony. Uh, obviously, dropped the kids off at school. Had a cheeky macky D's and uh, we've ordered the wood for the garage door because Darren's a he's an all round bloke he's uh, he's on this sort of stuff all of his adult life he's one of those annoying people that can turn his hand to anything whereas I can't <laughs> but I like to learn anyway also managed to book the car in for um it's first service. I used Megan, who's English but speaks French. She's more or less French because uh, she's been here since she was little and the French don't even know she's English. Um, and so she found up and booked the appointment for us. And get this, Bill came through the door yesterday from the tax office, would you believe? 
saying that I owed 523 euros for tax d'habitation. Now that, so your tax frontier is your house, um, your value tax, and then your tax habitation is, is a bit like a council tax, so your bins and stuff, and the dichetterie. Now, they're getting rid of that in France, not for people who's, who's who've got second homes, but people who've got primary residence in France, you don't have to pay anymore. Unless you've updated the tax office by the 30th of June 2023 about your current status as to whether as to whether your house is uh, the, the primary or, or secondary residence. But they don't tell you you've got to do that. <laughs> and apparently the fine is 150 euro if you're not telling them. Oh god, the cat's on the air. Uh... Yeah, you know that's electric, yeah? Come here, get down. Come here. Get down. <laughs> He's gonna electrocute himself live on live on film. Get off. Get down. Anyway, Wally, Lisa, Bell. Hello. So trying to make him run again. Hello. But he's not doing it. <laughs> right. I had a little joke with you yesterday, Sue. About um about the song that you like that mentions California and I'm, I'm not telling you what it is. Because in a slight bit of satire when I said I didn't know what the song was. Something California. Because we love it. Is it this one? When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the... No? Okay. I then played the song. <laughs> Straight away. And then put the title of the song, the name of the artist, and the fact that you can get it onto YouTube on there. And people are still saying, what's the song? Go back and have a look at the video, because I'm not telling you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. nearly got a decent sunrise but the camera's just facing the wrong way anyway I was meant to be going down to the Dordogne today to go and see my mates um, I don't think I've got enough time because their flight's been delayed and it's only just set off but I need to give them a sleeping bag because I'm going to stay the night there tomorrow but I'm, tomorrow I'm going on my bike and I won't be able to take the sleeping bag anyway I'm waffling on um, so I'm going to surprise them at Alimoge Airport we'll come out we'll have a chat I'm in a bit of a rush, you're still messing around, getting permission. Cue slow-mo. On you
back. Uh, I did manage to get to the door, do we? Stayed in their house for five minutes and then came back. But I'm going there tomorrow. Anyway, um, so I did the episode, the podcast, last night on a, on a French ear trumpet. <laughs> so we'd all, that, all had a few drinks. And we talk about conspiracy theories. And I, I spoke about a very, very strange investigation that I led in 2010. Um, if you don't want to hear about um, bad things happening to horses, then pause it or fast forward it. But in, in brief, I dealt with a horse mutilation case. Um, and that investigation um, ended up on a paranormal uh, documentary where I got a mention. But I speak about that uh, in depth on French Air Trumpet. So, yes, yeah, so go and take a look. Where am I? Yeah, so go and take a look uh, a French Air Trumpet on, um, on Saturday at 12 o'clock. It normally gets released. So I got a message here yeah, this morning from um, a mate of mine, Daryl. And he said that um, he's decided to unsubscribe. Not from me. <laughs> um, from another channel. Because he, he, he was getting sick of it. And he said, can I su suggest something else? And, uh, and he said, uh, and I said, yes. Uh, go and have a look at uh, France Unfiltered. Now, I have given them a shout out before. Um, and I mentioned them. And uh, they've watched the video. And they give me a shout out. So I watched them, watching me watch them. Now. Got my starting watch. Um, France Unfiltered. Hey! So it's a very young English couple. Uh, we don't know much about them yet because we've only seen their first episode because we've gone back to the beginning. So thank you, Rob, for the shout out. Leon and I were both terribly flattered that you called us very young. <laughs> so you've got two new friends now. <laughs> All jokes aside, it's really nice being able to network a little bit on YouTube and find couples, individuals who have done the same journey as us. And particularly, I feel like um, Escape to, to France, Charente, they are further ahead than us, which gives us hope that clearly it's possible. <laughs> so, yeah, just thought I would slip that into the vlog. Uh, so big thank you to Rob and Lisa. So it's Sarah and Leon and they've moved over and uh, where their story is different to ours is that uh, they're starting up a business. So if you guys out there that need advice on visas around starting up your own business like a micro entrepreneur, yeah, then that's the, yeah, the channel to go and watch because ours, ours is the, it wasn't easy, but it's the easiest visa, the easiest visa that you can get. <laughs> yes, yeah, so their channels, yeah, you're full of information like that. Anyway, it's time to pick up the kids from school. Laters. <laughs>